from Make and Mixer, and today I'll be showing you how to make an easy and simple Among Us plush, along with the cute little bear hat for it, for a little something extra. And at any point in this video, I go too fast, I will draw a cute little diagram at the end, you can pause to look over, but first I'm going to go into materials. So, of course, I have some plush for the plushie, but you can really use any soft material, such as cotton. I have a pencil and a paper to sketch out the design. I have a needle, of course, because we will be sewing this plush together. I have some scissors to cut the felt and thread. So that of course what I'll put to the side for now. And for the felt, for general basic Among Us plush, you're gonna need one thing of white felt, as you can see for the helmet, along with light blue felt. Now, this is where the felt gets interesting because as you can see here, I have one light brown and one dark brown felt. That's because for this demonstration, I'm going to be making a brown Among Us plush with some bear ears, but really the color of felt just depends on what you want. For example, if you want a red Among Us plush, of course, well, you get some red felt, and if you want the flamingo hat, you get some pink felt. Also, for the details for this simple plush, as you can see, I like to use my marker just because it's more precise, and it actually doesn't look that bad. And for the thread, as you can see, I like to match the thread to the color of felt I'm using, but really, you can use any color you really want. It just will stick out more if you do it that way. And here is the diagram I talked about. If you want to pause the video and you need to like see it on paper to really understand it, you can take some screenshots or just watch over this part so the rest of this video will be me going through the process myself so at any point you get confused so hopefully the rest of this video helps and now that we gathered the materials it's time to go into the full process so i start by grabbing my paper and my pencil and i just sketch out the outline of an among us plush minus the backpack and since this will be a brown among us plush i put the outline on the felt as you can see and just cut around the figure i like to do a square first and then get the finer details just because personally i feel that's easier and don't worry if you mess up along the lines or some things don't work right. You can always adjust later on. So basically you do this process times two. So you get one for the front and one for the back. As you can see, I'll have two. And now I believe uh, I would call this what gives the plush the 3D look and not just a 2D flat thing. I get cut out two strips of kind of thick lines. You could get a ruler and be more precise with this, but I like to just eyeball it. And now for the backpack, I cut out a rectangle and just curve out the edges. And to give the backpack some volume, I did the same thing I did with the main plush, but this time I cut out a thinner line, as you can see, which we will later sew into the actual backpack. The next step would be to get the helmet done. So I grab that light blue fabric and I draw out a oval on the same outline I did for the general body, just to make sure it fit. And once again, I match it up to light blue and just cut it out. You could also just eyeball this, but I like to cut it out so you don't get like a shape that looks weird. As you can see, I like to just casually measure it up to the outline, just, just to be sure. I do the same thing with the little white one, and once again, I test it just to make sure it looks pretty good. Next up, we're going to the, ooh, the bear ears. So with this, I go to the outline and draw out the general shape of a bear ear, cut it out, and similar to how I did, I put it on the light brown piece of felt, and I'm going to cut out four of these shapes because I will be needing two for each ear. And the next thing I do after I cut it out is I add details. You could put some like cut out a piece of dark brown felt and put it on. But I like to use markers just because it's simpler. And with markers, they do look really well as you can see. But you gotta make sure they dry or else you're just gonna get marker ink everywhere. But aside from that, now you do what I did for the plush in the backpack. And cut out a line the same size as the Among Us plush line. And here are all the cutouts you need. I'm going to start with the optional assembly of the accessory, in this case the bear hat. So I thread the needle, I like to go around five times to make sure the needle, the bleh, can't talk today, to make sure the thread stays on the needle and I don't want to re-thread as often. As you can see, that's me tying it. So then I grab one of the ears and the long piece of fabric. Don't worry, you're only going to need one for this because you will cut it and you just use the other half for the other pair. So I go in and out, and I don't normally tie a knot, I just go, as you can see, in and out about five times until it's pretty stiff, and I've learned that that holds pretty well. And then I just sew along the edge, as you can see, in and out, that's why I kind of picked up speed a bit. And here's where I say you only need one thing of the light brown felt to cover the ears, because I sew it, and once I have a solid, um, I guess... I don't know what shape it would call it, but as you can see, I cut it off, and I'm just putting it to the side. I grab another bear here, make sure it lined up perfectly. If you don't line up, it will look a little weird, but once again, you can adjust it a bit later as you go on. And I go in and out, and this is the part that gets a little blurry on the diagram, so I'm going to make sure I emphasize it here. You want to sew it almost fully, but leave a big enough hole so where you can put some plush in, as you can see. And then once you're 
to a satisfied amount of plush, then you just sew it up. And with accessories who have the same thing but twice, such as bare ears, you just follow this process again. With the accessories done, now we're actually going to sew on the helmet. I have some white thread because it's hard to see than the dark thread, obviously, because of lighter colors. And basically, I just connect the white to the blue and the blue to a piece of brown. As you see, here's the backpack. As I said earlier, you just connect the strip to the backpack, make it go around. And I connect the backpack to the other piece of brown. And here we go. I went around it with the same thing I did for the bear ears. And I made sure I lined up one piece of brown, the one with the helmet, with the backpack thing. And as you can see, I'm going in and out. And I'm saying once again so much. I'm so sorry. But really, it all, it's all a simple repeating process. So like the barriers, I'm going to sew all the way around. Make sure it lines up till there's a little hole, like you can see right there. And I fill with plush till I get to a satisfying level. And once I feel like the plushie is full enough, then I sew, sew it up. Friendly little tip, make sure the thread doesn't get like mixed in with the plush or whatever soft material you're using because then it's going to be a mess to take out, so just be wary. And if you're adding the Among Us accessory that you made, you just sew it on the top of the Among Us plush and bada bing bada boom, you have your plush. Once again, here are some pictures of the diagram if you want to take screenshots or follow along with the video while also having this picture. I hope this video taught you how to make a plush, and if you want me to show you how to make some more hats or perhaps even the suits for your Muggish plush, make sure to leave it in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. See you soon!